Welcome back. Now, Norwich's finest broadcaster, Alan Partridge, is still in the game. He's presenting his weekly mag weekday magazine show. It's called This Time. It's returning to our screens for a second series. It is brilliant. And Alan is, of course, played by Steve Coogan, joined by his co-presenter, Jenny Gresham, played by the actor Susanna Fielding. Let's take a look. It's time. What's the time now for, oh, Ben? I love it. It's time to speak to Susanna. <laughs> Susanna, good morning. I am exhausted just watching that little clip, um, but it's nice to see you, and you are back. Just tell us how this second series has been going uh, as far as filming is concerned. Good morning. Hi. So it's, um, it was an interesting experience this time because obviously we filmed during a lockdown um, in November and December. Um, and so there was some slight um, adjustments, but what, the great thing is that A, we got to do it um, um, in the first place and, and it was a small thing to film. So a very small crew, small cast. And so myself and Steve were sat on the sofa next to each other. Um, and obviously we have our guests on the show um, who were two meters away um, and we managed to complete the whole thing. So I think it's, it's quite an achievement that we did. And I think and hope the audiences are ready for something new and fresh on their screens. Susanna, how much fun is it filming this? <laughs> well, as you can see just from a small clip, there, are, there is a lot of um, hilarity and a lot of energy. It's, it's a really, really fun and fast paced and intense experience because the writers like to rewrite as we go. Um, so very often, like yourselves, I'm reading on an auto cue my lines for the very first time. So a bit like your job in reality, I have to really be thinking on my feet all the time. Susanna, you seem very charming and very genuine. Um, how um, much is BBC Breakfast used as material <laughs> for uh, uh, this programme? Well, I have to say, I've been watching you two this morning. I think you might be a slightly classier outfit than... Uh, oh, than you're charm time. personified. Right Basically, thing. that means we look at you, we laugh at you, and we get absolutely <laughs> so much from you. I, I would well, I'm not live in the studio today, so I can't pick up on any tensions <laughs> behind the scenes or any... Uh, oh, or if any only you knew. Out. If only you knew. Exactly. <laughs> Um, what is so interesting, it is about that dynamic, isn't it, between the two of you um, and that power play uh, and the fact that Alan will want all of the key lines. And, and it's that that, you know, where all the humour comes from. I wonder how much of that goes on behind the scenes as well in terms of your relationship on and off air. I suspect will be very different. You must have the best time making it. Yeah, it is very different. And actually, even though, you know, Steve is an a slightly easier time of it than Steve, who I think gets a lot of ahas across the street. Um, I, I don't have a catchphrase as such. Um, and also, I think Jenny Gresham is such a glamorous lady um, that I, I'm a bit more of a jeans and trainers kind of gal. So um, people often don't recognise me, really. Oh, that's the perfect world. It's the absolute perfect world. So yeah. what, is, what in terms is, um, you know, with the, with the filming... What in terms of how's life been for you in terms of acting and, you know, the pandemic? I mean, we're hoping to see a little bit back come back, but it's very difficult. Yeah, it's been a really, really challenging time for a lot of people, especially freelancers in creative industries. Um, I've been lucky enough to be able to do bits of voiceover work with a duvet over my head in mm. my wardrobe. And we've all had to really diversify and think outside the box. Um, and obviously we were lucky enough to film this, but filming was actually brought forward because it was one of the few things that could be filmed. Um, as I said before, it's a very small cast, no big, large crowd scenes and in quite a sort of contained studio space. Um, but a lot of things have been put, put back and um, whilst we're starting to see it all kind of wake up again, it's been a really precarious time for everyone. Do you touch on COVID in the show or is it just pure escapism that it sort of happens in a bubble that, you know, where COVID doesn't exist? I think, I think rightfully and sensibly the writers have um, made it a world where COVID exists, but it's absolutely not the focus of the mm. show. It, it's, it's mentioned very briefly, but I think you're absolutely spot on. Everyone is desperate for some escapism and to not be talking and thinking about COVID. So this is what you want to watch if, uh, if that's where you're at. <laughs> um, you talked about working with Steve. I mean, are you, you'll have seen all the scripts. You know what the gags are, of course, when you're filming. But are you ever surprised by how it actually plays out? Yeah, I think I'm always surprised because <laughs> even though we, um, even though we have a script in the morning, we'll very often rewrite it and take bits out, and and the writers will be rewriting it. And as I say, it's appearing on my auto cue, so I'm really kind of um, you know on the hoof as well. 
Um, and and also Steve's genius is just something that is always kind of mesmerizing and surprising. And added to that, I'm off, often obviously sat next to him, so I'm not even looking at what he's doing. So it's only in the edit or even when it ends up on the screen that I think, oh, he was doing that in the, mm -hmm. that moment. OK. <laughs> um, are we getting series three? Oh, it would be nice. I feel like there's so much more to mine with the characters and also just the subject matter. The, the conceit of the show being a magazine show means there's always great topics and, and um, you know, sensitive subjects uh, that provide humour. So I think it's about the, the desire and also Steve's schedule. He's a busy guy. Is it, has he got the intention of doing a third series? I think we all love doing it so much that, um, and we love the characters. So yeah, I think um, fingers, fingers tightly crossed. Excellent. Okay, that's all we needed to know. Thank <laughs> you so much, Susanna. It was lovely talking to you, Susanna Fielding. You. There. Series two of this time with Alan Partridge starts next Friday. It's the thirtieth of April, nine thirty, BBC One. We've been.